All right, what's going on today? Today, we're gonna to be installing the AMS Alpha Fuel Rails. Um, beautiful, you guys, absolute beautiful. Just solid billet aluminum. Craftsmanship is just, ph just phenomenal. So uh, uh, to start the install today, you guys, I went, and, uh, I went ahead and removed the, um, let me just turn this on here. So as you can see, the, uh, the intake manifold is uh, out of the car already. Um, if you want to know how to uh, remove that, I'll put a link in uh, the corner here. Um, very simple, just unplug in a whole bunch of holes and unscrewing a couple of bolts, but very simple. Not that hard at all, you guys. I'll put the link again. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the factory fuel rail. Very simple, uh, a couple of bolts and we're going to unclip the uh, clips for the harness for the injectors and it should come straight out. Let's get started. So before we get started, I um, just want to show you guys how beautiful these rails are from uh, AMS. Just absolute hidden gems, you guys. Uh, I went ahead and put on the AN fittings. Um, eights on the ends, dash six on the, the other end. And I put the mounting harnesses all in, or mounting brackets, and put the uh, Loctites already on it before the we started the video. But uh, yeah, go ahead and do those, and uh, we'll get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the four 12 mil bolts holding the rail on, and then we're gonna remove the four 10 mils on the back uh, feed line and the uh, return line. And then after that, we're gonna unclip the harness for the, the injectors and unplug all the injectors from the clips. And then it should come straight out. So just to recap you guys, I unplugged the clips for the injectors, unplugged all the clips up for the uh, harness here, and then the uh, 12 millimeter bolts, five all in total, three on the uh, driver's side, two on the passenger side, and then the uh, four 10 millimeter bolts holding the back here. That's what took me the longest, you guys. So now that I got all that stuff unplugged and unbolted, uh, we should be able to just lift the rail up and the injector should come out of the, uh, the ports. Um, I, in, I guess I released all the pressure, so there should be no fuel in the lines and in the uh, return or the feed. Uh, so. Let's see if that's the case. I got a rag just in case. So I'm gonna disconnect this for now. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, there's uh there is uh fuel in the lines a little bit, you guys. Yeah shit. Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, so do, uh, yeah, keep a rag. <laughs> keep a rag on hand, you guys. Oh, shit. Oh. You know, the car's been sitting for a couple months already, so it's not bad. Um, it's not that bad. I've seen other videos where they start up the car after like unplugging the two harnesses for the fuel pumps and oh the car the engine doesn't sound very good at all so lucky for me I parked my car for the winter and it sat for a while so 
and I did, un uh, I guess, unscrew the uh, gas cap, so it wasn't too bad, so. <sighs> okay, let's try it again, you guys. I'm gonna lift straight up, and hopefully we can get all the fuel out of here. And the, I'm gonna go straight up. Yeah, here we go. One more. All right, so now that I got the uh, fuel rail out and all the injectors are out, I'm gonna take off all the injectors uh, the, from the factory. They're gonna have these uh, U-shaped clips holding the uh, injectors to the fuel rail. You wanna go ahead and remove those and double check to make sure all the O-rings are off of the injector, well, out of and onto the injector, just like these green ones. And you can see how the blue one is stuck inside there and not on the uh, injector itself. So you want to make sure you want to take all those out and uh, we'll go on from there. All right guys, so uh, I got the injectors out. Um, these are Injector Dynamics uh, 1000. Uh, originally when I went uh, full bolt on, the uh, 1000s are more than sufficient, but now that we're going flex fuel, I know these are going to be at its max, so I was told that uh, 13x is the way to go, so that'll be another upgrade in the future. So yeah, so I got them out, I'm going to check them over everything, clean them all up, and then uh, put some super lube on the uh, O-rings, and then put them inside the um, AMS uh, fuel rails, and we should be all ready to go back in. All right guys, so it's finally all lubed up and the O-rings are all done, nice and cleaned up. And now we're gonna go ahead and put them in the uh, fuel rails here. And that's it. So now that I got the uh, fuel injectors back in and the fuel rails are on and the uh, Fuel injector clips are clipped in for the wire harness. I did double check everything just to make sure it's, everything is all seated down. It's hard to see you guys, but uh, yeah, make sure you double check everything. So the uh, longer fuel rail side is on the passenger side and the shorter one is on the driver side. Um, Alpha has uh, pretty good uh, instructions, so uh, it's hard to uh, mix them up you guys. Now everything is all in. I'm gonna uh, reinstall the 12 millimeter bolts. On the Alpha fuel rails, it only uses two on each side. Uh, so you're gonna have one extra 12 mil. All right, so the torque specs for the uh, 12 mils is seven foot pounds first, and then 16 uh, the second time around. 
So in the AMS uh, fuel rail kits, you guys, um, they do include all the uh, fittings for the fuel lines and uh, it's pretty nice, uh, pretty nice kit, you guys. It does replace all the um, factory fuel lines and stuff. So it does look a whole lot nicer, all the AM fittings. Um, you do have the optional uh, option to replacing the factory fuel pressure regulator. Uh, and I believe it's a fuel lab regulator that they use. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and button down the rest of the uh, the uh, lines here and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, you guys, she's all in, all uh, buttoned up. Looks fantastic, you guys. Hope it does make uh, fantastic uh, products. Uh, check them out. It's a shame that uh, once the intake manifold goes back on that uh, you barely uh, will be able to see them. That's unfortunate, eh? But uh, yeah, I went and uh, I went ahead and uh, removed all the factory fuel lines. It was kind of a pain in the ass to remove that uh, fuel regulator. You had to like really loop it all the way around. That was that took me like a good 15 minutes there. But uh, it's it's actually out and it's all on the floor now. So. This will be a preparation for uh, next week's video, you guys. Um, pretty, uh, pretty stoked, pretty excited. I do love the idea of like over-engineering um, everything I do. Uh, I do a lot, watch a lot of Real Street performance. Um, Jay and his, I guess, tech tips are just fantastic. And greatest, I guess, uh, advice is basically over-engineer your, uh, your builds, you guys. You know, have a number that you want to stick with it and um, you know you want to build a great foundation so that you want to add to your uh, your build or not run short I guess is what I'm trying to say um, so now that I have these fuel rails and stuff in I ain't going to run short if I ever want to go bigger power it's already there instead of me running and I'm getting it to uh, the proper I guess parts and stuff to uh, support those mods um you know you get you get what I, i'm saying to it but check out real street performance you guys jay has a lot of um uh i guess fantastic uh tips for you guys to, uh, to uh, knowledge to take in all right guys so uh, i'm looking forward to next week's video hope you guys are too and stay tuned and if you guys do like it smash the subscribe button you guys turn on the notification and uh Share with all your friends and all your uh, car enthusiast friends. And we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. Have a great uh, weekend. See ya. Like gold.